What's going on everybody? This is Island Hopper TV and today we're going to talk about the things you need to know when visiting the Cayman Islands. Let's do it. First thing we're going to talk about is arrival. So you're going to arrive, you're going to fill out a form. You're going to notice that it does say the UK on it because this is a UK territory. Although it is a Caribbean country, the uh, process is quite simple. It's not too crowded going through immigration. At least when I went there, we were the only aircraft on the ground at 315. That was a British Airways flight from London. They have automatic kiosks. Most people from the UK, Canada, or the United States go through that kiosk, and it's quite easy. They uh, scan your passport, take your picture, and then you go to the booth, they stamp you, and you're in. And then once you're in, uh, it's really all that is needed. There's no vaccines or no uh, health stuff that you need to take care of before you get here, so that's a good thing. So it's pretty smooth. I know a lot of people want to know that before they arrive. Now let's talk about the best time to visit the Cayman Islands. So from around May until October is rainy season. They get hurricanes, lots of storms. So the best time to visit is going to be outside of those months. I'm here in January and we did get a little bit of a light drizzle uh, a couple days ago. But other than that, it's been really beautiful weather. Sunny as you can see, bright colors, green, blue, and then the sky. So great weather. Uh, January especially, if you want to get out of the Canadian snow, the North American snow, uh, European snow, UK, come on down here to Cayman Islands. Probably January, February, March, beautiful time to be here. So now let's talk about transportation and getting around here in the Cayman Islands. They do have a public bus, although I've seen people waiting for long periods of time just to catch that bus. There's smaller shuttle type buses. Um, and I think their schedule is a bit inconsistent, although people seem to be using them. For me, the best way to get around is definitely by a rental car. So if you have that ability or that capacity, you have a license, definitely take advantage of that opportunity. It's not very expensive. I rented mine for three days for $203. So that's a pretty good price, I would say. Uh, now, as far as boats and tours, they have those. That's obviously going to be one of the better ways to get around if you want information. Um, they have sailboat tours that go out. Those can be useful for, you know, island hopping, going out to Stingray City. But yeah, planes are the way that most people arrive here. There's no real islands around here uh, other than the three islands that are part of the Cayman Islands. I'm trying to figure out how to get to Jamaica. I think the best way is to fly on Cayman Airlines. Um, the airport's small, it's not really ever too busy, so that's a good thing. Now, when it comes to clothing to wear while you're in the Cayman Islands, I would suggest bringing some sort of lightweight UV protectant clothing like I'm wearing right now. This is Columbia, but uh, they make it for men and women. Also, one of the benefits of having these clothes is you can do this. You can even put your hat on top of that to hold it down when you're on a boat. Uh, that just really, is gonna block the sun a lot better than even sunscreen. But obviously you're gonna need some sunscreen for your face, for your nose. Try to get the best, cleanest product that you can. The problem is when you go into the ocean, you're gonna wear sunscreen, but that can damage and kill the reefs. So try to get clothes that you can wear to cover most of your skin, uh, like a rash guard or something. I've always been wearing like swim trunks uh, with no boxers really. Um, because at any given time I might want to go for a swim. I'm here at Rum Point. If I wanted to hop in there right now, i just hop in. Don't have to worry about anything and I would dry off really quickly. Uh, as far as shoes, I'm sandals. I haven't found the need to wear any sort of tennis shoes at all across this whole island the whole time I've been here. So, <laughs> you could wear shoes, but I don't think they're necessary. So, slippers, sandals, uh, flip-flops, whatever you got, bring them. Now let's talk about places to stay when you come to the Cayman Islands. So you have the Seven Mile Beach area, which is where the most expensive resorts are. The Marriott, the Hilton, nearby is the Holiday Inn. A lot of the chain resorts are out there. But for me, I like Rum Point. I'm actually out here at Starfish Point, which is right next to Rum Point. Uh, those two areas are very high-end, luxurious, expensive, but that's where most of the safety is going to be 
but you're gonna pay the price for it, those two areas. West End is probably the more touristic area, so if you're over there, that's what you're gonna get. But if you want more peace and quiet, go to the East End. The East End is far less developed, even the North Point. So the North side to the East End, that whole area, they have a couple different hotels out there that you can check out, but that's something you need to know. And now let's talk about safety. So one thing that did happen to me here was when I was in the port area around just after uh, sundown, someone came up to me very aggressively asking me for money. I felt as though I had no choice but to give this person uh, some money. I didn't like that. I told them I don't have any money and they said, let's go to the bank. And then as I was walking away, he kept following me and harassing me, asking me for more money about how he's working hard and he's been working all day. I just didn't really want to give him money. I don't like to be forced to have to give someone money for no reason. Um, but I felt like that was happening here, especially in the port area, which was surprising because it is such a beautiful island. But aside from that, I never really felt any issues. Um, driving around the island, I did the full Circle Island tour, I would say at nighttime, maybe you have to be a little bit more cautious, but in the daytime, it seemed pretty safe going around. I went all by myself, solo, didn't have any issues, but I think at night, especially in Georgetown or some of the other areas, there's gonna be some people who come out that might not be up to no good. They might not be uh, the friendliest people. They, you know, and that when that happened where they came up and so aggressively asked me for money, Look at this guy. <laughs> that reminds me, uh, animals. I would say, no, there's nothing really around here that's going to be dangerous in terms of animals. The snakes are non-venomous. There's no caimans that I know of here. At least that's what I've been told. There's no caiman, which are crocodiles or alligators. Uh, there's nothing really in the water that's too dangerous. Uh, they say iguanas can bite, stingrays can sting. Obviously, there was a sighting of a bull shark at one point in time out at the Stingray. I heard about that. Stingray encounter had a bull shark show up one day. Um, but other than that, nothing too crazy. Now just a little bit of the information about the geography here. There are three islands, Grand Cayman being the largest, the other two outerlying islands a bit smaller. The population is around 68,000 people. It is an overseas British territory being one of the largest, if not the largest, British overseas territory in terms of population for islands and so yeah you guys can see right now beautiful views all around Cayman Islands now in conclusion I do recommend the Cayman Islands I've been to many different islands in the Caribbean of course and some are better than others obviously touristic areas are more common where there's cruise ships but Cayman Islands in particular Grand Cayman it's got a lot of coastline because it's an island that kind of weaves around and turns. It's got some capes like the one I'm out right now here at Starfish Point. So that makes it really convenient for uh, going around in your rental car. But overall, I would have to say definitely a place to go if you're looking for a family vacation or even a relaxing time for couples.